What's going on guys, it's Rage, and once again, welcome back to some more Modern Warfare 3. As you all saw by the title of this video, we have a brand new one-handed sniping glitch in the game, and as a matter of fact, I'm pretty sure it works with almost every gun in the game. So before we go ahead and get into the clips, I wanted to quickly show you guys how to do this. The way that you do this is you hit your melee, swap, and you pull out your stun all at the same time. So for me, I have my melee bound to the side of my mouse, I hit that, one and four, all at the same time, and there you go, just like that, it works. So here on your class, you'll have whatever sniper, whatever weapon you want to use, but the two most important things are the joker and the throwing knife. As far as what tacticals you can use here to change the movement of your hand, you can pretty much use any grenade here, besides battle rage, the scatter mine, and stim shots. I know those three don't work. As soon as your left hand in the animation is stuck, you can completely take your hands off the keyboard. You don't have to like sit there and hold stun the whole time, but then you can just start running around. I have noticed a couple of times that for some reason, if you do it while the joker is still out, uh, when you switch to your primary, you can't sprint, so you might have to redo it a time or two. Shock stick animation here is the funniest because uh, your character has a very zesty run. And this is pretty much what it's going to look like if you have any other grenade. Your hand's just going to be like this, and you do a uh, movement. You do a motion that's uh, very funny. Yes, because we're all grown, mature adults here. And this is basically the entire point of the glitch. You just run around looking goofy. When it comes to sniping, I would obviously recommend having your center dot on, and do have a laser attachment on for your sniper, because obviously, that's where your shot is going to go. It's really just a fun little glitch to do. Try and hit some clips with it. And honestly, it's been a pretty good time. Now, speaking of the clips, I want to go ahead and let those roll. I have to try and hit a clip with this thing. No shot. The split five on. Are you kidding me? Oh, too shared. No, I got flinched off of it. No, man. Come on. I mean, we could do that. We could do that. Yeah, the laser on this thing is incredibly clutch. You're a fucking goofy. He just called me a goofy. What are you doing? No! Oh my god, that that was a lot of people there. Collat. No! I should not be alive right now. No! Oh my god. Yeah, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm stuck. I'm over here. Nosk. No, I tried. I tried. I tried. I didn't need to do that. I saw that bullet trail go off into the distance. <laughs> oh my god. No! I actually shot through that triple! No shot! Oh my god. Dude! Dude! <laughs> Truthfully, this is all I've been doing over the past couple of days. I recently saw it in Scope's video, and this is all I've been doing, like, pretty much non-stop. It's been a whole lot of fun. I've hit a couple of clips while doing it, and this is also something that I wanted to ask you guys about down in the comments section. How do you guys feel about clips at the start of videos? To be completely honest with you guys, I've had a couple ideas in mind as to, like, changing the style of how I do some of my videos and have them be sometimes more focused on the clips or highlights and things like that, so if that's something that you guys would like to see, do let me know of that. Been playing Call of Duty since 2007, been making YouTube videos since roughly 2009, 2010 across numerous channels, and the main style of video that I've made is this kind of one, just the whole cutcom thing, if people even still call it that. It's the style of video that I've really enjoyed making, just because I love sitting down, talking, playing Call of Duty. So it's always been one of the most uh, easily approachable styles, but I don't know, I just kind of felt like I've been wanting to try changing it up a little bit. So again, if you guys would like to see that kind of thing of just more clips and highlights, do let me know. And obviously, as you guys saw, a vast majority of those clips were with the XRK Stalker, and that by far has been... I really don't know what it is, but that's like been the sniper I've been the most comfortable with doing this little one-handed glitch. I, I really don't know what it is. Really, anytime I've tried to uh, do anything different, besides the longbow, which I do have a longbow video in mind that I want to go ahead and upload after this one, but something about this one-handed glitch, I really don't know what it is. I've just been the most comfortable with the XRK Stalker. I guess it's not really a problem because I love that sniper. I'm gonna talk about it more in the next video, and you guys are gonna see some clips that I've hit with the longbow, but ironically enough, doing this one-handed glitch has been the best way for me to use the longbow. I've been very open about this, and I mean, you guys have seen it, talked about it a lot, that I suck with a longbow. I'm probably the world's worst longbow user in this game. I don't know how people use it, man. 
Oh yeah, and you can use grenades, throwing knives the exact same way as well. Honestly, the more that I think about it, I feel like this kind of goes without saying, but uh, I really don't think this would be super ideal if you're gonna do this with like a red gun or anything like that. This is definitely more of just a funny little sniper marksman rifle kind of thing to do. I mean, still at the same time though, you totally could red gun with this thing. Honestly, it'd be kind of entertaining to see someone do that. Fuck, I knew it, man. Sorry, beast. Is your team right here? One, two, no fucking way. Three. Damn. I mean, I'm sitting here talking about red gunning with it. Why don't I just try it? I mean, it still works. Okay, never mind. For some reason, I figured that, like, if you go to aim down your sight... Well, I don't have a laser on it, so that's not really helping me either, but... I don't know. I felt like aiming down your sight with this thing just wouldn't... I was thinking if you, like, aim down your sight with, like, the, the spray pattern, but then I'm like, wait a minute. No, the shots are gonna go straight. Shots are gonna go relatively straight with this thing regardless. Just slap on a laser and you'll be fine. Damn! You know, this Jackson guy's been giving me more reactions out of this than anyone else. I tried going into free-for-all just to see if people were gonna, like, actually watch the kill cams and, and see that they were dying to this, uh, goofy animation. And again, a couple of, like, final kill cams that I've got. No one said anything. Like, ah, yes, this is completely normal sniping. What are you talking about? Oh my god, the 180 for the collat right here would have been nuts. This is exactly why we need the laser on. Also, it is worth mentioning as well that uh, obviously with the kind of scope you have on it does affect the magnification. It will affect the magnification, it will affect the zoom, so if, for example, these uh, default scopes on the sniper zoom in too much, you could just chuck on like a regular ANCOG scope or something. Something smaller like a 2, 4, 6x would probably work a little bit better. I mean, here on a map like D-Rail though, yeah, you'll probably want to run a, uh, a much larger scope, but I don't know how many of you guys wouldn't actually be backing out of D-Rail. Map mode of this lobby was between D-Rail and Wasteland, and honestly, I was kind of hoping we got Wasteland. Most people would have probably straight up backed out of this lobby, I know. But yeah, surprisingly enough, though, I feel like when it comes to this glitch, I've been doing better while using the reg sniper scopes. Something about the way this works just oddly feels similar to playing OG MW2 third person. If you guys have been around on the channel for a while, there was a point in time, like, back on uh, the original MW2 where I was playing a lot of those third person lobbies, and they were genuinely a lot of fun. Had a whole lot of fun playing it, and I felt like I did pretty decent in that mode, and I don't know, it just kind of feels very similar to that. Oh my god. I mean, I know it would have been a split quad headshot feed, but in that spot? Hold up, collat. For a brief second there, I honestly thought I tripled that. I know it would have been split, but that quad headshot feed on derail in that spot? I feel like that would have been pretty nice. There's no way. Yeah, bro was literally just sitting in here. I mean, all right. Wasn't expecting that at all. Five votes for rundown TDM over sub base TDM. Okay, all right. You guys have fun with that. I mean, I know I'm down for the map variety, but something like domination or hardpoint at least. There we go. Domination high rise. Okay, he's jumping. All right. You got it, bro. My fault. You know, I think four jumps would have done you better there. Oh, this is bad. I was gonna say that. It's gonna be really bad for the both of us. I don't know how I didn't collat that. I mean, nice throwing knife, but uh, no, I should have collated that. Now, I wanted to go ahead and try out the MCPR for this game. In my recent bioluminescent video showing off the uh, the unlock for that, I was talking about the MCPR, and I just got a comment about this. I'm blanking on the name right now, but someone let me know that apparently the smooth bolt for this thing may or may not actually make a difference just because it's not like lining up right with the timing or something like that, which honestly has me wondering now if this whole uh, Cronin smooth bolt attachment on it even makes a difference like at all, because I was talking about some weird like fire rate delay with it it just feels off i swear if this has been the case the whole time and it's literally something that i didn't even know about even going back to modern warfare 22 i'm gonna feel like an idiot that's the spot they weren't there Oh my god, I actually hit him. Been going for cross map throwing knives for 14 years. I just missed that triple. Been going for cross map throwing knives for 14 years. The dopamine never gets old, man. Down. 
No, I missed. Oh, missed the throwing knife. There was two of them there anyway. Oh, all right. I really don't know what happened that game. I had a couple decent opportunities and then I just started getting slammed by ACRs. The thing is though, I really don't know what it is about these kind of like odd one-handed glitches. Sniping one-handed both in-game and IRL from a couple of years ago. Something about it. I, I like the feeling of it. I guess just because it's so goofy and I'm not really taking it seriously that I'm just, I don't know, like a lot more confident in my shot. I don't know. It's weird. But yeah, so on that note, that's going to go ahead and wrap up this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Again, do go ahead and check this out while it's still in the game. I'm assuming that because the devs are more than likely on holiday for right now, because this video is going up on Christmas. So Merry Christmas, happy holidays to everyone celebrating. I'm assuming this is still going to be a thing for a little while. I mean, all the way up until this point in time, Sledgehammer, Raven, everybody have been on top of uh, getting these kind of glitches and whatnot patched. Things that have needed patching have gotten patching very quickly within this game's life cycle so far. And I'm assuming at some point in time, like maybe within the next week or so, like once everyone's back in the offices, it'll get patched. It is still a pretty fun and unique thing to do. So again, feel free to go ahead and check it out. I've had a lot of fun sniping with it so far. Again, though, with this video going up on Christmas, I did once again want to wish you guys a very Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, whatever you guys celebrate. Hope you guys are having a great time. It literally doesn't even feel like we're about to be going into 2024. Crazy. Again, though, really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you guys did. Subscribe if you're new. It's been Rage, and I will talk to you guys later. Take care, everybody.